Okay, here I'm going to provide a brief overview of the thoracic cage. You can see some of the main components here are coastal cartilage, indicated in red. The sternum is that center bone here, and then the ribs located on the end here. So starting with that kind of bony thoracic or rib cage, notice that the ribs are labeled 1 through 12, starting at the top here and working your way down. We have that sternum. At the end of the sternum is called the xiphoid process. That's the little kind of portion sticking out down here. You can see an, a zoomed-in version here. This is the superior and inferior um, orientation. This should help you if you understand these terms, the orientation of the bone in the body. You can see the sternum or body of that sternum here is located right here. Focus a little bit more on the ribs and the cartilage and how these kind of interrelate and how we can identify different types of ribs. So there's three main classifications of ribs. There's true and or so-called fixed ribs. These are indicated in red here. These are just, um, rib pairs that are directly or indirectly attached to the sternum, as we can see here. Here's a direct attachment, and here's kind of indirectly. This white region here is actually cartilage. We see each is individually connected to the sternum. False ribs are ribs 8 um, through 12, we see down here. And they connect the sternum indirectly via coastal cartilages of the ribs above that connect to the sternum directly. And what that basically means is here's our two false ribs um, connecting here. And this cartilage then is joined together and that connects directly to the sternum. Here we're seeing a rib directly connecting, directly connecting, directly connecting to the sternum. These false ribs are all joined together. And we'll see that in another image, this cartilage that then joins to the sternum. The last one, the floating ribs, and those are in blue, and this one probably should also be in blue right here. It refers to the lowermost, 11 and 12, so actually this one should have a little cartilage here. Um, there's so-called because they attach only to the vertebrae in the back here. They do not have a direct connection to the sternum or cartilage of the sternum. These ribs are relatively small and delicate, and they include kind of a cartil cartilage at the very tip of them. Okay, give me a little bit orient, different orientation here. The coastal cartilage are segments of the cartilage that connects the sternum to the ribs and helps extend the ribs into the forward motion. This cartilage also contributes to the elasticity within the walls of the thorax, allowing the chest to expand and compress during respiration. What we see here are floating ribs in the back and our false ribs here. Again, these are joining and attaching this cartilage that then attaches to the sternum. Our true ribs are the ones right here, and they're directly attaching to the sternum. In the classroom, we also have skeleton. You're welcome to take a look at that and see how the different ribs look and how they're oriented, and can you identify what's a false rib, what's a floating rib, and what's a true or fixed rib.